So this is the team I'm going to be taking to Orlando Regionals. It uses Hisui and Zorark, one of my absolute favorite Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. It uses a little bit of Dozo Tatsu, uses a little bit of Urshifu and Glamora, and it uses Talonflame. It's more than just like a Dozo team or a Zorark team. Talonflame is so cool as a tailwind setter because it puts so much pressure on the popular mons in the format. Ogre Pond and Rilla are bigger than ever. Talonflame checks those. And the really cool thing about Talonflame, the really cool thing about Talonflame is this mon gets a move that no one knows that it gets. No one knows the Talonflame gets upper hand. Talonflame gets upper hand, and I think this completely changes how Talonflame functions as a dynamic speed control tailwind setter. I think it's so good. So it can set tailwinds faster than things like Torn, faster than things like Wim, so it can't get taunted by those because it has Gale Wings. And then from there, we have upper hand. So it's like a tailwind setter that... If you want to protect your teammate from a fake out lead as well, you can just upper hand their fake out user. So the really cool thing is if I were to go Talonflame and Urshi, your two ways to beat that would be to trade Tailwinds with me and have something else beat my Urshi or, which is hard, or you can have something fake out my Urshi and then do whatever you want to it. And you can't do that if I have both Tailwind and upper hand. I'm gonna be able to stop one of those. Or I could just attack you with my full attack Life Orb Talonflame and just Oko you on the first turn. So I think this is a really, really, really cool uh, like anti-meta mon right now that I feel like a lot of teams just aren't really respecting. So I'm going to try and use it um, in Orlando this weekend. And uh, the rest of the team is just really good. We have a very, very bulky uh, Urshifu. We have a very, very bulky Sand Tomb Citrus Berry Glamora. And we have a Choice Specs Hisuian Zorark. So uh, let's go play some games and see how it does on the ladder. I think I'm actually going to go like Talonflame Urshi and then just close Dozo. That being said, like, ugh, there is some value in using Glim here as well. It's really good into like two of those. I think this will probably be fine. Um, Talonflame's only really threatened by Urshi when they have, like, two priority move users. So, like, for example, Talonflame, once it loses Gale Wings, is slower than Scarf Ursh. So if they had, like, a Sucker Punch, like, a Fake Out user, they could hit my Talonflame with that priority move. And then it would make it so the Urshi could then Surging Strikes me. Since they don't have that here, um, I, I guess Zorark could technically do that. But we're just gonna go like this. And we're gonna try and get these wins. I'm going to try and force a... The reason why I'm leading Urshi here is to try and force a Fairy Terra. I feel so bad not using my Zorark, but like... Zorark mirrors are probably really weird because I'm I'm Spexed, right? So if like if I lock in Hyper Voice and they just don't Terra, I can't hit it. And I can't hit it with Shadow Ball, so like I can't hit it, right? So it's like I'm just not going to bring it. So let's see. This is a great lead for me. I think that like honestly going after the... The Torn is probably the better play. So I'm actually just going to go... I'll, I'll take Tailwind here, and I'm going to go after your Torn. That's probably a Zork over there. I don't I don't think it matters. Imagine tricking you both have specs, right? Yeah, I'm like, I have trick, but I have specs. I think I want to get the Torn off the board and get it so, like, most of their mons, like their Dango, their Heatran, their Gouging Fire, those are all things that can get Earthquaked by Dozo. So I'm just trying to set up a pin for Dozo to just knock them all down in the late game. And yes, they can definitely have Sash Torn, but, like... If I can clock that early, that's great too. Trading Tailwinds, that's a real Torn over there. It's a real Torn. And it is Trick Zorark. What are you giving me, bro? Are you giving me a Scarf or a Specs? He took a ban, dude, so he's messed up. Oh, you gave me a Scarf, dude? Oh my gosh. Oh, we're gaming out here. Dude, we're so gaming. You thought that was a Zorark, huh? You did. I bet you did. So that's a Zorark and a Citrus. But I'm faster than your Torn, dude. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna KO their Heatran with this. Oh no! Oh no! Talonflame gaming out here. He went for the trick, dude. <laughs> Protect, dude! It's Urshifu. You saw it already, bro. They, thought, they think I'm going for help. They think I'm going for a Brave Bird into the. Uh, what is it? The other thing. Oof! Dude, Talonflame is such a beast, bro. Talonflame is such a beast. I don't know why people use these like wall like prankster trick room setters where they could just like one shot everything with a talon flame dude oh dude vgc 2014 intensifies out here talon flame taking no prisoners and then yeah if you were to come out here with, like let's say like a raging bolt here i know this guy doesn't have one but like i could just upper hand it 
And then what do you got? What do you got, bro? You got nothing. And we still have the Dozo to, to line it up in the back. I think the only way we lose is like Dozo getting like a weird status condition, like a burning bulwark proc. So like that board just gets EQ'd into oblivion, right? So I think we're going to go for the attack into the gouging fire. I think we're going to double gouging fire. Because like Talonflame doesn't care. I could even protect here if I really wanted, but I don't, I don't think I need to. I think I'm just going to go. And we're El Scarfo. You can absolutely go Fairy Terra. Absolutely, positively click that Fairy Terra button. Because I want to see... Oh, no Terra. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that one, Chief. This is, you're dead. <laughs> this Urshi, bro. You gave me a Scarf. That's still a good amount of damage. That's basically setting it up for an EQ. All right. Wicked Blow these, though. Oof. That's enough damage. Even if you go with some weird Terra, we're fine. Raw Terra Blast from the Heatran. Ooh, they go into Talonflame. They ignore the Dozo. Not Dozo. They ignore, they ignore Urshi. That's fine. Oh, I didn't bring Tatsu. I brought Glim. Oh, all right, this changes things. Why? What? I didn't bring the Tatsu, dude. What the? Well, you guys didn't stop me. Oh, well. I don't need it. We're still fine. Glim busted, dude. I'm making them think this is Zork right now, by the way. I'm making them think this is Zork because they're probably saying like, okay, Glim, that means they brought Glim, Z they brought Zork Glim, they didn't bring Dozo Tatsu. No, nah, dude, I needed the Tatsu. <laughs> we don't, I guess we don't need need it, but like we're super fine here. And so they're probably thinking this is Zork, which means they, oh, let's see what they do. Breaking swipe, yeah, so they're gonna take that chip damage. They might even get KO'd by the Breaking Swipe, like Chip, into the Spiky Shield. Crit my Urshi, never lucky. Dude, thank you, this guy, for the Scarf, dude. Wicked Bodizdo, and that was the last Mon that was a real threat. Even if you take out the uh, Urshi here, I think I win. Kumpe Zek. Um, I, I made a Kumpe Zek team the other day. I made it the other day. I would say check it out. I'm faster than the Heatran. Did they Earth Power me? Did you guys see what they used on me? Did they use Earth Power? This is fine. I can pivot back out and come back in. Yeah, TY. Cool. Just gonna chill here. They can absolutely have like Fairy Terra. EP and a Glim. Cool. So Dozo soaks that very, very nicely. This is gonna force a Terra eventually. I'm thinking Grass. But like, look at that damage. Dozo don't care though. Ooh, look at that damage. Zekrom is literally better raging bull. It is. I like I like Zekrom a lot. So I made the, I made a YouTube video showing Zekrom yesterday, showing special Zekrom. But it's GG's. I feel like they're only out here as like a crit plus like a really like a fairy Terra. Like we're we're super fine here. There's a Terra. So you can go grass Terra, but like is Urshi, bro. <laughs> Urshi's inevitable. Adamant Scarf Urshi. It's so funny that, like, oh, we have a really weird EV spread, too. Yeah, Grass Terra is a good play, though. But we take it. Pop it like it's hot. Urshi busted. Yeah, dude, I couldn't, I couldn't bring the Zorark, dude. I just, it, you can't hit the other Zorark with Zorark. It's too deep. It's too deep. And that's why I trick choice specs onto things and not choice scarfs. Because then you just, like, give them speed control. <laughs> Do I even want Dozo here, though? Is Dozo... Dozo's good. All right, we're actually bringing the Dozo. Is that a TR come fade? Don't care. <laughs> here we go. We're going to try this. I think Urshi's also completely viable here, but I really like this play. All right. Glim Zorark. I feel if you can set up, like, a mortal spin, you just GG's. I think they're going to have to lean really heavily into Gudra to win this one. And I think Dozo just beats it. It's going to take a while, right? I don't know what their Terra is, but I think we can actually just outvalue it. Save like Gudra. Gudra's really good here. So 
The only way that we lose is if Dozo gets like bodied by. Let me think about this. Don't need to do anything yet. I want this guy gone. If we if we get Wisp on our Dozo, we would lose. So I think they might like fake out a Wisp turn one into my Dozo. Because they're like, yes, I can Wisp the Dozo, I win the game. Light screen. Okay, oh, they're, they're, they're respecting Zorark here. Good play, good play. Yeah, it's, it's totally a Zorark, dude. Like, it's absolutely Zorark. That doesn't do shit. It's neutral. Yeah, so Shelter's fine because they actually can't hit the... Uh, they can't hit us correctly. Now, let me think about what I want to do here. I hope this just KOs and that you're not Citrus. Let me hit this thing. I don't know if I need to Terry here, but I, I respect what your Gudra. I don't want to get quashed. And I want to be able to keep the Gudra. I want to be able to actually sand tomb this Gudra. I think that's going to be how we win the matchup. Encore. Oh, that's a good play. And I bet they have Disable for the Zorark. Ah, crit there would have been really nice. Oof. Shelter's fine. I, again, I can't do anything about that. All right, and you don't want to swap in your Dozo here. I think it's better to swap in the Tatsu and let it eat a Wisp if they have it. Encore Disable's fine. I don't think it's a good way to play it. It's just a different type of Corrosion's not better. No, you I re, you really need the other thing. Is that disable? There it is. Yeah, so the struggle might still kill you. That's the idea. Like, and that I'm totally going to go into that. Like, absolutely go into it. <sighs> Hard to say, though, right? So you see, if I click battle, it's just going to... I don't even get to select anything else. It just goes right into it. You see, it like messes up like the, it might even keep the Tatsuguri and Zorark on the bottom, like up during the moves and stuff like that, because you're not really going into the move selection menu. Now, sometimes it does that. See, it still has check status up there. It's kind of a weird little mechanic. Can I press Y to check status? No. <laughs> Reflect, good play. I'm really playing around not getting wisped. That's what I'm trying to do. One more, one more and I got it. You can heavy slam my, my Zorark, I don't care. That's great. So that's one layer of spikes up, so it means I should be able to wall your mons in the back. He doesn't have Wisp. Well, now we know he doesn't have Wisp, right? But we didn't before. We didn't know before if he had Wisp or not. Like, that, now that we see Reflect, we know we're fine. Like, a lot of times they cut the Reflect for the Wisp. I'm fine with that. The last thing we do here is get Zork in safely, or is our Dozo in safely, and we're good. I don't know if we win, though. It's hard to say. I don't actually know if we win-win. It'll be hard to say, though. Encore. Yep. Look at that KO. Dude, I'm just targeting the save. It's random who you hit. The struggle's been real. And we just uh, did the... I should have just clicked Sand Tomb, I think. But they're going to hit the Glim, right? If you hit Glim and I get that second layer of spikes, that's so good. Body press... Dude, it's Zorg. It's not Dozo, bro. What? I don't know. Dude, what are you doing out here? You, oh, they thought I was going to switch. They thought I was switching. Yeah, I'm not switching. I don't, I don't need to. Ting Lu. L poisoned. Wish I got a second layer of spikes up, though. Okay. I could spike a shield here. I could also just sand tomb. I'm gonna sand tomb. And we're just chilling. Like, Zork does not need to do anything else this game. Poison. Yeah, good tech. I mean, 
honestly, now they can't terrasse as Argudra, so, like, EQ's gonna be really good here. I bet they have Ruination, like, Yawn and stuff like that, but I'm okay here. Dude, the struggle. Sand Tomb Valley, look at that. Alright. Body Press takes me out, right? Yeah, so Sand Tomb not even gonna get to do anything, but it is what it is. And let's see what this uh, King Lou's doing. Are you just like throat chopping? Sand teaming me back? It can miss. I mean, I hit my Sand Tomb, but you can miss. Fisher! Oh my god, no. And they hit! That was my I was gonna get to. Oh man, I was gonna get. I was gonna be able to do stuff next turn. Dang. Oh god, they have Fisher. That's so obnoxious. Alright. Okay. They're going to hit me with a Fisher, right? I mean, what else do we have to do? They have Fisher. So it's like, we're just going to try our best. I think we're just going to protect Dozo for a turn. If we can start peeping out the Fishers. If we can wait out the... If Fisher is their win con, we have shots. Let's see how much damage we even take from Body Press, though. It might do a lot. I don't know. It might It might do a lot. It might. I don't actually know how Underwear works with Body Press. I don't know. I have no idea. I, I assumed that, like, we're fine, but... We're gonna go Protect, and then an Earthquake. I know I'm unaware of your defense, like, when I hit you, but, like, I don't know how it works, like... Are you just using, like, a fat body press? Protect's good. Let's see. Let us see. Seeing is believing. I want to see if they're protecting. Like, protect. Body press. All right. That's right, so two fishers, right? Two fishers down. Six more. They've already hit me with one fisher. Damage. Damage. EQ, EQ, baby. It's great damage. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. I don't worship ignore it. It does, yeah, it looks. Oh, there. You hit me with two fishers in a row. Two fishers in a row, dude. Are you real? Oh, fucking real, bro. Dude, come on. What the hell is that? Oh my god, that's like so stupid. Yeah, we had the game one. Oh well. Never lucky, bro. Yeah, that game was so over. That game was so over. There's not a single thing. That, there's not a single thing they could have done again, again, uh, other than Fisher. Yeah. GGs. Boo. He hit two in a row. You know what? I'm gonna do something different. It's fine. I was thinking about doing something really cheeky, but I don't think I need to do all that. I'm just gonna go Tom Flame like this. We're just gonna play this. I was I was gonna go like a Glim Zorak lead where I disguise like the Zorak as like the Tatsu, and then basically that would make them go for the Swagger play on the Glim because that's who you would hit with that. But I pivot into that turn, get the plus two, and pivot out the actual fake Tatsu for the real Tatsu, and then you have like the plus four Dozo, and you're just like game over, bro. Like we're we're going to the races. But he's probably just not even gonna go Mirror Herb stuff into Dozo. Right, that's right. Am I wrong? Like that makes more sense. So that's why I just scrapped it. All right, so they probably have um, Fairy Terra. So the question is like, what item is on this Torn? Could be Sash. Could be Cloak. If it's Cloak, I could just Oko them. 
I'm actually just going to protect. I'm a really big fan of protect here. And I, I think I'm just going to Wicked Blow your Torn. I don't need to Wicked Blow this. It's going to go Fairy Terra. I don't need to do that. And if it goes Grass Terra for some crazy ass reason, I'll just Brave Bird it. There's the Fairy Terra, like we said. So Dozo's great into that thing. If they're going a car, like, if you want to go, like, Tail, if you want to go Rain Dance, Electro Shot My Talon Flame, like, absolutely fine with me. If you want to click Bleak Wind, that's also fine, but you can't click both on this first turn, which is why I really like this play. Nice, and now you never get your Tailwind up. Electro Shot, let's see how they're targeting, it's a pretty important turn. Because, like, if I didn't need to attack my Talon Flame, that would have been... If I didn't need to protect my Talon Flame, that would have been kind of nice. They hit the Talon Flame. Oh, awesome. Value! And now we just Tailwind. And if you send an Urshi, you already Terrored, so I can just, uh, I can just Brave Bird it. In Sin. This sounds like a job. This sounds like a job for some hands. Sounds like a job for some hands! Woo, dude, we bought the game. We bought the hands this guy. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah, dude, I'm not doing anything else today, bro. Let's go. We clicking buttons out here. Gaming. Upper hand. Oh, dude, I look mom, no hands. All I got is wings, bro. <laughs> Fake out D's. Obviously, we're still stuck using Wicked Book because we're banded and they're probably citrus, but like, dude, that was still freaking clean. And they're they're not banded. That means they're goggles, which means they just now they just are within EQ range for Bdozo. And you can absorb all the electricity you want, bro. You could, it's yours. Who are you hitting? You hitting Urshi? I would. Oh, hit Town Flame, dude! I get to keep my Urshi. That is so good for me. All right, so I think I just Trastalized my Dozo when I win. That instant is like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> I can even probably protect my Dozo. And Wicked Blow the Incin. And I actually really like that play. Because if you pivot in Flutter, it's dead. And if you pivot in Urshi, it's within range for EQ next turn. And we don't need this Urshi for like anything at all anymore. They're not, oh, they're just party shotting? It's not a bad play. Nice. So we get to see the last mon before we really do like lock ourselves in anything with Dozo. It's really good to see that last mon. You can hit the Urshi, but like, would you hit the Urshi? That's totally turning into a Tatsu. You're hitting the Dozo, bro. You're hitting the Dozo. You're not you're not going after the, the, the Urshi slot unless you're a mad lad. Unless you're an actual like mad fiend, you would not go after the, the Tatsu slot. Here we go. What's last mon? Sneasler? No. Flutter? It's probably Flutter, right? Yeah, there's a flutter. Cool. I think we're fine here. Speed? Special attack flutter. Alright, so I probably just outspeed that. With Dozo. I wanted to actually check and see if I do outspeed. But I'm just going to do this. Special attack boosting flutter might be a problem. Get my phone up. I was gonna run some calcs on this. I wanna see how fast, like, a full speed, like, modest flutter can be. And I think it only gets, like, 187 if I'm thinking correctly. 187. Oh, dude, look at me, I'm gaming. And I, I think I, my dose was 190, so it's dead. You can protect, but, like, I don't care. Thank you, thank you. Nice. Dozo dees do. And my Urshi's still gonna be able to come in hot with a big banded poison jab later versus that Arcaludon. Moonblast, there it is. They were faster than me. Huh. So that means they had to be like, their booster special attack, but they're like in a really weird, it's a weird way to do it, right? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Like, how did, how did they get that? I, I was just thinking about this the other day. Like, I haven't really messed with, like, those sort of flutters yet. Let's see if they even get the KO here. 
Might have been a good idea to not. I shouldn't have Trastalized. I should have just let them take the Dozo out. I mean, I thought we were going to live it. I, if I live like one more turn, that's great. But like, yeah, we live one more turn. Cool. We're good. All right, so we're just going to protect. Actually, do I want to protect? I can utilize the rain to my advantage. Yeah, dude, Dozo just going to take a dip, bro. What speed is your Dozo? We're 190. Oof. Dunzo, bro. Dunzo, our Kaludon. We take those wins all the way to the bank. Yeah, I'm thinking they might have actually been like a timid flutter, though. They have to be under 190 speed. But I'm, I'm 190. I should be. I should, I should be. Okay, so this is a really good game to go Glim, I think. We're going to try the Glim here. And so what I like to do against this is I just like to lead Glim. I like to lead Glim and Talonflame and just go Tailwind and just like go to town, like poisoning everything. And then eventually I'll lose a Mon and then I bring the Dozo out and just like finish up. So I'll try it. But like Urshi's also just good here. Tailwind with Urshi's good here. They don't have Tailwind other than anything other than Torn. If they go Torn, they can't do everything at once. So it's like, this is fine. I'm gonna try these. This is gonna be hard to play best of one because like they could just trick room us with a Frigoraph but you know we'll see how it works I can't really stop the trick room but I can like get my poisons up kind of and maybe try and get some value there I think Glim is really good into Torkoal if I play it correctly oh why are these animals obsessed with me? Ah, we have our little kitty here the littlest kitty and she's done Sure, she torn. She torn's really good. I, I actually think I can just like. Are you done? I'm doing it. I didn't do anything else today. This guy's trying to trade tail ones with me. I don't trade, bro. I win. I win. What's he gonna do? Like, this Chi is so gone. I don't even think I needed a Terra for this. Oh my god, he's so done. Yup. And that was like the mom that was gonna, hey, get off the carpet, get out of there. She's just tearing up the carpet. They can still totally win, by the way. Absolutely can totally win. Um, but I think I'm in a good enough spot here because their, their torrents can take a crap ton of damage here. And that was like a big mom that like peeled the, peeled my, uh, Glim off and now Glim's just fine. Water? Wake. Okay. Huh. That's weird. That's really weird. Okay. So your wake's going to go into my Glim, right? Your wake is going to go into the Glim. Better just do straight damage. If you would like to send your wake into my talent flame and ignore my glim, who I would I would not recommend. Yeah, so I don't think weak wind will heal my talent flame. If it'll even hit. Icy wind, that definitely shouldn't kill talent flame. Come on, live buddy. Talent flame goaded. Talonflame busted out here. Oh my gosh, Talonflame Clinic. Yeah, buddy. Oof. That's, he's still alive though. Dang, that guy's like, he's eating so many types of weedies out here. You hit the Glim, you hit the Glim, you know? I could save the Glim in the back because Glim would be a really good mod to check both Flutter and Torn. But I think this is forcing them to really over respect this Glim slot. Like anyone would just pivot in. Um, like anyone would pivot in uh, freaking 
Tatsu there. I like Acid Spray. It's just hard to it's hard to make it work. Special attack boost. Okay. If you care the gum, I just go to Tatsu here. See, like, you see, like, we force them to over-respect that Dozo. Like, you have to do that. You have to do that, otherwise Dozo will outvalue you. And I just never, I never go into the Tatsu until I feel like I want to. Because now Torkoal and Torn don't break Glim very well. You still have a Tailwind up, right? Yeah, last turn Tailwind, Harsh Sunlight. I'm trying to think what I need to do to actually win here. That should still KO. But you're faster. Th I, I think I'm just gonna think about this. I think I'm gonna spiky shield and then just wave crash. I think it's a good play. Cause like Dozo isn't that afraid of Torkoal. You could soul, if you wanna soul review my Dozo, like you're probably choiced and you were gonna soul review me anyways. So it's like, I might as well just I might as well just try and win with my Glim, I think. Yeah, weak one's fine. Ow. Don't need to force the Tatsu switch. I don't think you need to. Yep. I'm surprised we're still faster, but it makes sense. Oh, shit. He's alive. That's bad. Maybe I should have waved. Eh. That's fine. He does have Solar Beam. Wow, so he did. I think this is still fine, though, because, like, Tatsu is a bully here. Because, like, oh, I ate it too, dude, ding! Dude, we're gaming out here. Dude, that's a thick, that's a thick little guy. Yeah, I like this. This is gonna make the Torkoal weaken. I wanna see if they have to lock in Solar Beam. Cause I wanna see if they have Earth Power, you know? And we're faster than your Torn now. So I could have taken out your Torn, but your Torn might also just be protecting this turn and I don't wanna fall for that. So we're gonna see what happens. There's a Tailwind, yeah, works. Okay. Tailwind's the right play here. I think Tailwind's really smart because it's gonna let you get the Dozo, but like I don't think your Torn can ever break break the Glim. So if I stick fat damage into your Torkoal, I actually can just come out with Glim and just like continuously go after your Torkoal now. So even if you had like Earth Power, like it doesn't matter. Clear Smog. Oh, what a gamer! That's sick. Good play. They had the Clear Smog too. Yeah, I mean, but Tatsu just wins the game at this point. You know what I mean? There's no reason to not protect. Waste Tailwind turns. Gives me a Leftovers proc. It lets me fish for Protect Baits. But we should be able to get this with just Glim. It's cool how Glim was like the... Gl the Glim is like a really, really pivotal part of this team. What's it going, man? How it goes? It's going good. It's going good. Bleak win. Yep. Bleak win can definitely miss. There's the Solar Beam again. I think this is his last turn of Sun. He might have one more. I think I'm fine. Big Lefty's energy. Clear Smog Torque. Like, this guy hated Dozo and still is going to lose to it, dude. <laughs> yeah, he has one more turn Sun. I can try Double Protect. I don't think I need to. Um, I think I'm just going to hope they miss Bleak Wind and just go for just an EQ. I think we're fine. Bleak Wind can miss. I, I told you, we, we, I, I told you that it could miss. I told you it could miss. Pasta gift and a sub. Thank you. Yo, I'm, this is my Orlando team. Are you going to be Orlando? Are you going to be in Orlando, my friend? Thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. 71% of the way there for the sub goal. Thank you. Sunlight fades. Just like this guy's win chances. I honestly don't even need to protect, but I'm gonna do it to give myself the most amount of chance to win. Just a chill. He's gonna scoop. No, I guess not. Dude, Dozo just gaming out here. Just Dozo stuff. Force him to hit those 80 accuracy moves. 
And I don't have my boost anymore, but I still might not die from this. It's like, I'm pretty thick. I still really like lefties on, um, like, aggressive dozer. I still think it's the way I like to play it. Caught the stream. This is my regional team. Yeah, this is what I'm going to use. This is probably what I'm going to be using. So let's just go win. Let's see if they get KO here. Bleak win. I won't bow, but leading on Indy. Yeah, I'll be at Indy as well. Dude, Dozo eats it. Lefty's bust. Does it count on single target? No, it doesn't. It's it's AOE because Tatsu's still on the board. That's what makes Dozo so nuts. That's what makes Dozo like so busted. We take those. We take those all the way to the bank. That's what we like to see. Holly Toad. All right, so I, I think the key to win this matchup is like breaking the Ursh. Once you break the Ursh, like the Dozo should be fine. Um. I don't really like going Glim into a Moongus. You know, you can, but I don't think you need to. I think what I like to do here in this matchup is I like to go Talonflame Ursh and then then Dozo Tatsu. That's what I like to do because I, I put a lot of pressure on their Urshi early. And like, look at their team, right? Talonflame has Oko potential on every one of those mons other than Arcaludon, right? And we're forcing Arcaludon to Terra to not die to Urshi. So we're going to get a Terra out of them. They can't protect, and we can always kill their teammate. Right, do you see how, like, nuts the lead is? It's not 100% like flow charted out, but Talonflame is so different than Torn because it says, like, hey, I can Tailwind and enable my teammate, or you can just die, right? It's, it's kind of nice, right? I do want to try and save my Terra for Dozo if I need to. But what I really also like about this weed is like when I weed Talonflame Ursh and you weed Ursh, you can totally go after the Talonflame, but like I'll take your, we're going to trade Talonflame for your Ursh and then you don't have a Dozo check anymore. Um, unless you're like your Sash Urshi Dark, but then like you still can't break Dozo either way, you know? So if I save my Terra. So I think I want to save my Terra. I wonder if that Amoongus has Clear Smog. You know, I think Clear Smog Amoongus could definitely be viable here. We don't, all, we don't also need Dozo. I think I could have went with like Glim... And Zorak went to like that mode as well for this game, but I don't, it's not like it's required. So let's go. They have Lando as in their profile picture. That means they got Lando tech. Maybe Steel Terra Lando? Torn Lando. I mean, go nuts. So we've talked about this before. You cannot set your Tailwind, set your Rain Dance, and Bleak Wind at the same time. You gotta pick one. The Talonflame is not Jolly 252 speed attack, it is not. I think I'm just going to kill your Lando. This is a greedy play, but I'm going to do it. So we're going to stagger Tailwinds here. Because you shouldn't be able to break my Urshi. I doubt you're clicking Bleak Wind here. If you click Bleak Wind you would not get any value. Like, that's ah, such a read. I feel like that's too big of a read for the first turn in the game. Trade Tailwinds with me. Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, one of these guys. Take your take your free trade. Accept the trade, you know? Taunt. Okay, you can't taunt Talonflame, dude. I'm faster than you. So you you opted for option C, which is the just not right one. And San, the Blind Sandseer. Okay, dude, he's trying to game out here. Okay. Urshi holds. This Urshi is thick. This is a thick Urshi. Straight up, like, real thick Urshi. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't just fold the things. So we take those. Now I can Tailwind. You didn't even, we're not even staggered yet. Like, it's like, just a good spot for me. So now you still need to get your Tailwind up. Let's see what they want to bring out. Getting that land off the ward is huge, by the way. Like, it makes it so Dozo just has a lot less, like, things to worry about. Urshi. Is Urshi water or is she dark? Urshi water. My son. You ever heard of a thing called Brave Bird? Are they going to aqua jet me? I can, I can pivot in the Dozo here. I think I don't mind. I don't mind losing the Urshi, I don't think. If you want to click, yeah, you know what? Are you going to click your Tailwind? You think, you, you, you might need Tailwind at some point in this game. I don't need Tailwind. You can click this Bleak Wind. The fact that Tailwind gets overhand is so clean, I agree. It is game changing. 
taunt? Bro, it's the taunt, bro. What are you doing out here, bro? Dude, this is Urshifu, man. Oof. Dude, it's one shot city. I've one shot at every one of your Pokemon out here. So, like, Torn Ursh could never do what we're doing here. It could never. Dude, didn't even get Tailwind up, dude. I'm gonna get Tailwind up. I'm gonna do it right now. Oh, I can't tell you why I'm taunted. Well, Mal. Well. Let me think about what I need to do here. This is fine. That was canceled, dude. <laughs> we take those wins all the way to the bank. So I was going to say, if you guys uh, are going to be watching Orlando Regionals and you see the ability to like vote for specific teams that they say, I don't think they show the players' names. I think they just show the team, vote for me. I, I'm the guy with Hisui and Zorark that is using Glamora and Talonflame. I think my team is pretty creative. It's pretty fun. I'm actually taking a bit of a risk here playing a team like this because I feel like I'm really trying to make a meta call because this team has a pretty good matchup into bolt balance because we can upper hand those thunderclaps and just kind of roll people over with the rest of our team but yeah this the tournament is going to be streamed on the official pokemon stream on youtube and twitch so i'm going to be in orlando regionals playing with this team and i i think i'm making a pretty good meta call i think i could get some good points here i might get on stream any support you guys want to show over the course of the weekend uh in the official twitch stream that would be great but um yeah, hopefully. Hopefully I have a good showing at Orlando Regionals with this team. It's been a, a lot of work getting this one together, and I think I'm going to do pretty well.